All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. We have an unboxing for you, and this comes from Jack Wolf Knives. I have been very excited uh, to check this next one out. So first, you got to say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man Log TV, and let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, stick around, watch some videos, and enjoy everything with us. Now, this comes from my buddy Ben Belkin. Uh, he sends these along for some of us reviewers to check out in advance. Now, this is one uh, that caught me completely off guard, just like everybody. And, uh, you know, I think it's awesome that he does that. And so now we are going to use, uh, let's just use this guy right here. We're going to use because uh, it's the one sitting here. <laughs> this is the uh, Midnight Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. I'm going to take it off camera because he's got a label wrapped around all four corners here. Uh, and I don't feel like uh, showing off his address, my address, whatever. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. Now, I am not going to look at the bottom of the box because I want when I unwrap it to be surprised about which one I got. So don't ask me right now which one I got because I don't know. It's, it's just that simple. I do not know. So this is uh, the Cyborg Jack. Uh, same box as all the rest. As you can see, there is the story. All right, we're going to open this up. V ah, very excited to look at this artwork up close. Sean Tiffany kills it every time. And this one really caught me. Very Terminator-esque Jack Wolf Knives. Uh, and this one, guys, I'm very excited because this is not necessarily Jack Wolf's take on a traditional pattern. This is a Ben pattern. Ben came up with this idea. And when I first saw it, I, I wasn't sure. But the more I've seen it, and I'll show you in a minute why, the more I love it. And here we go. Cyborg Jack. Awesome, awesome. And, of course, this can. These cans are so cool. Comes with a pog right on the front with the Cyborg Jack Wolf there. Cyborg Jack, very cool. We'll put that right there. And uh, in this time, we've got a pink cloth. Very cool. We have got, uh, let's see, we have got nice night, nice night for a walk. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. And of course, you get a leather slip. And I got the darker one this time. Very cool. I like getting different ones. And I have gotten a couple of custom ones and I'm going to get more. Uh, as Kevin says, I'm a complete cheapskate. So I get them as time goes by, but there we go. So let's unwrap the burrito guys. And you and I get to find out together. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look away and, uh, well, hold on. Let's see. Where are we? Don't peek. All right. So right about there. Yep. Okay. I'm going to look away and you guys can yell what I got. All right. There you go. You guys are seeing it. I'm not. Holy cow. Okay. Green canvas micarta. That is so cool. Uh, let's just double check the bottom of the box so I'm not saying the wrong thing. Yep. No, black canvas micarta. Holy cow. See, that's why I checked the bottom of the box. Because I'm... There we go. You can see it now. All right. Very cool. I, I thought I was going to get micarta this time. And that is cool. Ben surprises us every time. I think it's so cool. Now... Right off the bat, uh, what is standing out to me about this one is this the the geometrical shapes here, but the way they are uh, they're consistently different. If that makes any, any sense, so you've got this angle here and this angle here, and then the same thing goes here. You've got this angle and this angle, and I, I just I think it's so cool how he did that. It's this very inconsistent but consistent theme across the knife, if that makes any sense. You do have your nail nick there. Really cool looking. Um, wow. Satin finish here with that great swedge. Awesome looking. You got gray titanium, black micarta. Very cool. Look at that back spring. Always, guys. And now this one is a very challenging one from them. I would bet uh, as far as finishing just to get these angles right because uh, you've got all these different angles here that can't just be rounded off. They have to be, I mean, they are rounded, but you don't want to just lose 
that shape, if that makes any sense. See, you can see the chamfer there. Very, very nice. Love the micarta and love this, this very unique design. Now, for me, this is a pincher. Pinch it right here. Oh, nice. Did you? Wow. Okay. So this one is seems to me pretty strong. I, man, I would call that like a seven and a half. Let's just do this one more time. Gosh, that may be close to an eight. Seven, seven and a half is what I'm going to say. Man, listen. Let's shut up for a second. Fantastic. Fantastic. Jack Wolf there. M390 there. And then you've got this crazy techno looking <clears throat> clip point. Love it. Fantastic. Clean down inside as usual. There you go. You can see it there. Awesome. Uh, man, just a clean blade. Now let's talk about thin. Okay, so this is also a hollow grind, as you can see, as they all have been. Kind of hard to pick it up on this camera, but it is most definitely a hollow grind. Very, very cool. You got your sharpening choil here. We'll do a full review of this after I carry it uh, for the next week or two here. Now, these are available, guys. Let's talk about what is happening. So these are, I, I've done so much yakking. I haven't gotten to the important part. These are available on November the 18th at 2 p.m. at dealers all over. A list of dealers can be found at jackwolfknives.com. I will link that below. Um, the five varieties, there are three fat carbons. Fat carbon dark matter orange, camo carbon hot pink, fat carbon toxic storm. Uh, so all three companies again, but three, you got orange, hot pink, and green. And then OD green and black micarta. The the uh, micarta versions are 275 ish, and the um, the camo the uh, fat carbon thank you versions are uh, 299 right at 300 dollars. So very cool M390 on the steel, excellent excellent knife. Now this is the reason I haven't gotten around to it. Besides those geometric shapes, I knew that this guy was going to be fantastic in the hand. Um, because of the same matter of fact, why don't I have the, the, um, uh, now why am I blanking again, Casey? That's what you do best. Why don't I have the canine out here? Because I don't. And where is it? There it is. So you're going to see some similarities. This is definitely not a dog leg pattern, but guys, look, you see the similarities in the downturn here. Now this one does not come back up. You can see in the dog leg, it comes back up and out. This one just goes down and it gives you this absolutely fantastic ergonomics. I mean, this might be the best ergonomics of all of them. Uh, just melts in my hand. Uh, there is your size comparison with that one. Uh, since I have this one, uh, we will do the midnight here. And then where did I put? There it is. Uh, we will also put our vampire out here. Vampire. There you go. So, guys, there are your size comparisons where this one falls in the line. And, you know, I was thinking yesterday, it's time that I do a um, kind of an all Jack Wolf collection video. So, I'll do that soonish as well after I review this one. Uh, and that will be awesome. I'm just going to put the canine back up there because I think that is fantastic. Look at that. Uh, again, you've got the more aggressive blade and the more cyborg looking knife going on there, but definitely a good comparison uh, there. So guys, that is the Jack Wolf Knife Cyborg Jack. Uh, very, very cool. Again, November 18th at 2 p.m. Eastern at Dealer's. Either two seventy five for my carta or two ninety nine or right at three hundred dollars for the uh, all the fat carbon versions. So there you go, Ben. You are the man. Thank you for sending this beauty along. Fantastic work on designing this one uh, from scratch, man. This is so cool. I'm happy for you. Proud and guys, uh, the the manufacturing is as always 
immaculate and awesome. I don't know. We'll do some comparisons in the review, but for some reason, this one even feels a little bit lighter to me, and I don't know that yet. We will find that out, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just hallucinating, but there you go. That is an awesome, awesome knife. Uh, give me a thumbs up, guys, and everybody thank Ben for turning us all on to slip joints once again and getting us really excited. I am a slip joint guy. Thank you, Ben Belkin. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below, guys, and thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.